data structures using C, implementation of an audit linked list. In the last, uh, during the last session, we implemented a just list layer, li uh, linked list where we added numbers of the new nodes at the end of the linked list. This time we are going to implement an ordered linked list. That means numbers are added in the ascending order of numbers. Again, we will write functions to insert a node, to delete a node, to print the content of the linked list. This is what we have, very similar to what we have done. Only the difference is when it comes to the insert node to make a linked list. As again, same thing, we have got the head and this is the linked list. We have got numbers, as you see here, they are in the ascending order, 20, 20, 45, 90. If I want to add 10, that has to become the first node. If I want to add 50, it will be added here. If I, have, I want to add a node containing 100, so it will be added at the end of the list. So this is how we are going to create the list. Again, we come to the basics. So how to represent the node of a linked list? It is, we create a new data type called linked list which has got a data item called number and a link to the next node. It is therefore struct list type next. This is pointer to the next. So as I showed you last time, is a new data type and this is how we create a node of the pointer data type, list node of the pointer data type. So node is a variable, node is a pointer of the list type. Then here I show how, you, how we allocate memory to node. Always allocating memory is very important. So I allocate memory using malloc to this node and then only I assign values. I assign 30 to this number and I make next is equal to null. So you have got an example here that is a pictorial representation of the same code. That is 30 is number is 30 and next points to null. Then we have written already this uh, function to make list node out of those number. So I make a local variable called node, which is pointer type. I allocate memory, I assign number and make this next null and I say return node. So this is a function to make a node, list node of the linked list node. For example here, list node, then I uh, when I say, then make list node 80 in my program. This node will contain the address of this node containing 80. As you see, 80 is the number, next points to null, and this node contains the address of this node, which contains 80 as the data item. So again, we come to case one. As you remember, case one is there is no list, therefore head is equal to null. So how do we know that the list is not existing? So check whether the head of the list is null. So if the head is null, make the incoming node the head of the list. So you have made the new node out of 30. Then you ask this question, if head is equal to null, head is equal to new node. That means I assign the address of this new node to head. Therefore, this new node becomes the head. As you see, we have created this node which contains 30. So I made it the head of the node. So head has the address of this node which contains 30 and it points to null. So this is the list I have created just with one node, the head node of the list. Then now I come to the second part. There is a list, but the value on the incoming node is less than that on the head. So you have got case 2 and case 3. Last time we did not have case 3. So, uh, oh no, it was only case uh, 1 and 2. This time, so we have to check, therefore, the, whether the incoming number is less than that on the head. So then make the incoming node, if it is so, then make the incoming node the head of the list. How am I going to do that? So how to do that? So assign the pointer of the head to the next node, to the next of the incoming node. So you have got the node next is equal to head and make the incoming node the head of the list that is here. I have created this uh, new node with 12 and I ask this question, if new node number that is 12 is less than equal to head the number on the head, then I say new node next is equal to head. 
and then head is equal to new node. Or if you have assigned here current is equal to head, then I say new node next is equal to current and head is equal to new node. That is that's very important. So head is equal to new node, not current is equal to new node. And then use a return. So this way I have inserted the incoming node which has less value than the number on the head as the head of my uh, linked list. Now I come to again I show you graphically pictorially so I have got a new node which contains 20 so I, therefore I come here and ask this question if a new node number less than head number yes head number is 30 uh, this is 20 so what do I do so new next node is equal to head the new new node next is equal to head so that is what I am going to do so this is removed so new node is pointing to the former head now then I say head is equal to new node that means I assign the address of new node to head so this is removed now head points to the new node new node points to the former head therefore 20 30 40 70 I have a list the ordered list of numbers this is case 2 case 2 is the value on the incoming node is less than the value on the head of the list then we make the incoming node the head of the list with that we come to case 3 case 3 is very similar to what we have done inserting it anywhere in between or at the end of the list for that I traverse the list I use this two variables previous and current I traverse the list and then I come to the place where current is equal to uh, is greater than the incoming number then I say previous next is equal to uh, uh, new node uh, uh, no new node and new node next is equal to current let's see that let's see that so for example I have to traverse the list so I traverse the list I say assigned head to current then I say now this becomes current then I ask this question while current is not equal to null this is general traversing uh, when current is not equal to null previous equal to current this becomes previous this becomes current then this becomes previous this becomes current and I come to uh, the end of the list this is I am showing how to traverse the list but here I have to ask therefore in this question so I come to that point where the number uh, incoming number is less than the current number then I uh, my search stops there then previous will be there current will have a number greater than the incoming number then I insert it in between so uh, this is what we do this is for traversing the list now we come to the inserting so I am traversing the list then I come to this place where uh, new node number is less than current number though it stops here it stops here so previous points to 40 current points to 70 the new node is 55 therefore I have to link this this to previous next so what I do is previous next is equal to new node that is what I have done so previous next is equal to new node with that this is cancelled then what happens then I say now this has to be linked to the current so new node current therefore new node next is equal to current so I am linking it here so even this goes now uh, in 55 is inserted in between 40 and 70 this is how I insert a number in my ordered list as you see 30 40 55 70 so this is how we add so the code is here so while new node number is greater than current number it is greater than current number it is greater than current number when it comes here new node is not greater than current number it stops here then it comes out of the loop then I say previous next is equal to new node new node next is equal to current so this is how I have linked this new node in between 40 and 70 so this is the function to insert nodes again case one that uh, there is no list therefore incoming node is made the head of the list case two the number incoming number is less than the number on the head of the list therefore make that new node the head of the list and thirdly I insert it anywhere in the list at an appropriate position so this is how we create an ordered list very different from what we have done in the earlier lecture we just added the new node at the end of the list so here you have got the main program so 
I have created the structure list node. I have created the pointer head, which is a global variable. Now I have got all these functions. Make list node, insert list node, delete list node, uh, then delete first node, uh, print list, uh, linked list, menu and uh, init linked list. These are the various prototypes of functions and these functions are usually written after the main program. So with that we come to the main program here as you see as I have shown you. In this case 1 is enter the number, then case 2 is enter the number to be deleted, case 3 is print linked list exit and then menu. So this is how we are going to implement that and insert list then. No, no, as uh, I've explained to you. So you have got three variables here, pointer type. I create the new node out of this number. Then case one here, head is equal to null. Make the new node the head of the list. Case two here, the number on the new node is less than the number on the head, make that the head of the list and case 3 is I traverse the list till I come to that position where the incoming number is less than the number on the current, then I insert it. Previous uh, next is equal to new node, new node next is equal to current. This way I have inserted the new node at appropriate position. Then I have got init link list. Then print linked list, you have done it earlier, same thing. And we got the menu. So delete uh, node, we will be doing it in the next lecture, during the next lecture. So with that, I've got examples here. Uh, enter the number, delete number, display the content, delete the first node, etc. Given options. So uh, here, so enter, I've entered all these numbers. So then uh, uh, I, have, I think delete here, uh, this is... The, uh, this is a different uh, uh, numbers. So here what happened? Uh, entered the choice 4. I have deleted as you see it is deleted 20 and uh, uh, if you display again if you press 3 it will display 50, 9900. So these are the examples of the uh, program, samples of the program which you should be able to get. Good, very good. Thank you.